Hey guys, this is another Swiss German video with some more of your requests. One person asked me to make a German versus Swiss German video. So read a text in German and then read the, the translation of it in Swiss German so that you guys can actually see what the difference is. I did that. I prepared a little text that I found in the newspaper today. First, I'll read the English text so that you know what I'm talking about, and then I'll read the German and then the Swiss German part. Okay, before I start reading the text, you guys should click on the View More button just right below this video in the description box so that you can see the text. And then you can, you know, just read the text while I'm reading this out so that you can actually follow what I'm saying. As Beale's daily paper stated on its online platform in the afternoon, the roadblocks in Beale, Beale is by the way just a place in Switzerland, the roadblocks in Beale had been lifted. It stated the streets are drivable again and the police operation had finished. On Wednesday morning, the police found a suspicious package at a construction site and shortly after, they closed off the area around the Beale Spitalstraße. That's just a street in Beale. The public will be informed about the situation with more detail in the next few hours. Okay, and now in High German. Wie das Wieler Tagblatt auf seiner Online-Plattform am Nachmittag berichtet hat, wurden die Straßensperren in Biel wieder aufgehoben. Die Straßen seien wieder befahrbar und die Polizeiaktion wurde beendet. Die Polizei hatte am Mittwochmorgen auf einer Baustelle ein verdächtiges Paket gefunden und kurz darauf das Gebiet um die Bieler Spitalstraße abgesperrt. Die Öffentlichkeit soll in den nächsten Stunden über die genauen Umstände informiert werden. And now in Swiss German. Wie das Bieler Tagblatt auf seiner Online-Plattform am Nachmittag berichtet hat, sind Strassensperrungen in Biel wieder aufgehoben worden. Die Strasse sei wieder befahrbar und die Polizeiaktion ist beendet worden. Die Polizei hat am Mittwochmorgen auf einer Baustelle ein verdächtiges Paket gefunden und kurz darauf das Gebiet um die Bieler Spitalstrasse abgesperrt. Die Öffentlichkeit sollte in den nächsten paar Stunden über die neuere Umstände informiert werden. Now, I don't know if you've noticed while reading or while listening, the Swiss German tenses are not the same as the German tenses. Swiss German does not have a simple past, so to say. For example, a German would say, Ich aß, I ate. We cannot say that in Swiss German. We would say, Ich habe gasse. Ich ha gasse. I just wanted to point that one out. and But I won't go into the tenses now because it's way too complicated and um, I, I think I will make a separate video for that one. But I'll go on to the second request. Somebody asked me to uh, yeah, translate the sentence, very nice to meet you. When you meet somebody for the first time, somebody introduces you to somebody, what we say is freut mich. Freut mich. And if you've been talking to somebody and then you before you leave, you know, you want to say, hi, it was really nice meeting you, by the way, um, you know, catch you later or whatever. We would say, hat mich gefreut. Usually you would say, ja, hat mich wirklich gefreut. Which basically means, yeah, um, it was really nice meeting you. So the really is wirklich. So, Mary freut mich. Or, hat mich wirklich gefreut. And now the third request. Somebody asked me to point out the sounds of Swiss German. And I picked five. Three are umlauts. I think you know those. It's the ü, the ö, and the ä. Now you have the ö as well in words like burn, bird, girl, just the ö. And then we have the ä, which you have as well. For example, map, um, cat, sack, I don't know, bag, ä. That's the same. We have that as well. And then we have the ü. I don't know if you have that one in English, but I just wanted you to know those three. So if you stumble upon, you know, one of those three letters, you actually know how to pronounce them. And then the most famous sound in Swiss German, and I'm sure you'll all agree, is the kh. That's a C and an H. That's the kh. I'll try and explain it a little bit better. So, you know, I think you can all spit, right? So you just make that sound, just make the spitting sound. Just try to accumulate saliva back here. I know that's really gross, but just do the <laughs> as if you were gonna spit at somebody. So <laughs> and that's that's the basics for that sound. You just in Swiss German you don't <laughs> don't do it that intensely. You just do to cook. 
just back here. And try not to spit when you do that because when we say it, chuche, it's just air coming out. There's no spit or anything. And the last thing I wanted to talk about, I don't know if you noticed, when I speak German or when I speak English or when I speak Swiss German, my voice um, doesn't have the same pitch. Uh, that is not due to me dropping, I don't know, my voice or anything. That is because Swiss German is is kind of closed. For example, my name. Yeah, that's a good example. Listen to the vowels when I say my name in Swiss German and when I say it in Spanish, for example. Okay, Spanish first. Maria. 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 And then in Swiss German, Maria. Maria. The vowels are not as clear. So you have the A and you have the A. A. That's the way you pronounce almost all vowels in, at least in Zuri, Swiss German, so in Zurich. Just kind of try to relax your muscles and not to make them very tense, not E, E, A, but A, E, E. So the vowels are kind of close. And then you get this Swiss German sound to it. Um, I think that's it for today's video. I might make another one this week, I don't know. And if I don't, I'll hopefully talk to you guys soon. Have fun practicing. <laughs> Bye.